Hola everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, fantastic weekend, whenever you're watching this. So today we are going to be watching Thor The Dark World. Now, contrary to other opinions, I don't think this is a terrible movie. Um, I think that there are other movies in the Marvel Universe that are they're not the best they're not the best um but i'm not i'm not hating on any particular movie because i think that all of the movies within the marvel saga have a place within the story there are some that i kind of wish they would have done a little bit better or you know thought out a little bit better so we're just going to get right into it <laughs> So we're still getting the, uh, uh, what, it, the comics. We're still getting the comics in the Marvel. As the nine worlds converged above him, Malekith could at last unleash the ether. Mm. The Asgard ripped the weapon from his grasp. Without it, the Dark Elves fell. I really don't see what all the fuss is about. Do you not truly feel the gravity of your crimes? I went down to Midgard to rule the people of Earth as a benevolent god. Frigga is the only reason you're still alive and you will never see her again. See, that's a tear at the heartstrings for him not to see Frigga because Frigga was the one who taught Loki magic. Oh yeah, and then my dude, my dude is gone for Fandrill. Fandrill is actually played by Zachary Levi and not, oh, what was his name? Josh. Josh, Josh had commitment to Once Upon a Time when in the first movie, Zachary Levi had a commitment to another movie. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, yours. Oh my gosh, it's just a bigger Korg. Mm. Well, that battle's done. Make the girls go, ooh. Okay. Like I said in the, la in the last one, I totally respect what all actors do in order to fulfill the roles that they get in movies because that is not easy to obtain. I mean, I'm trying to lose weight, and it is... It is a struggle. I show up to work at the lab slash your mom's house. You're wearing lady clothes? Lady clothes? You might want to start looking at it again. Fancy. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I did. I love Darcy. You need to take the next one. <laughs> She's my intern. An, She's an intern for the intern. I have totally mastered driving a Mondrian. Totally. Oh the police were called to the scene shortly after 11 a.m. this morning after a seemingly harmless rambler approached the area. Oh, Eric. Yeah, for real. <laughs> what happened? Sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. New Mexico? Since your boyfriend. That boyfriend. <laughs> The keys. Are those the car keys? Oh my god. Whoop, there it is. I I see a light. Oh, I see it too. Am I dying conscious? <laughs> I don't know why. 
I don't know why I went into uh, Finding Nemo mode. Oh, uh-uh. That's some alien shit. Not again! At least I think it's alien. I've never really seen Alien all the way through, so I'm not really sure. That's gonna be another movie that I needed to watch. I'm gonna add that to my list. How was she? Can't say that. You were gone for five hours! What? <laughs> and it's raining. That's weird. But around them. Oh, they're your boo. They're your boo friend. <gasps> no, not that. I didn't I didn't say that. Hey, producer. That's not what it said. Sorry, I just needed to make sure you were real. It's been a very strange week. Are you Jane Foster? Yes. Private property and you're trespassing a lot of it. Nice to come with me. Oh snap. Uh, done well. It's dangerous. So am I. Hold on to me. What are you doing? <laughs> Words and the noises cue that you ignore them completely. She's ill. She is mortal. Illness is their defining trait. She does not belong here in Asgard any more than a goat belongs to the bank. Odin, I don't think you know the full extent. Who do you think you are? I'm Odin, king of Asgard. You told your dad about me? Guards, take her back to Midgard. No, I, I would not. Yeah. Touch her. Jane, are you all right? Gosh, why couldn't you have told him, like, there is something actually wrong? Like, I don't even know how you would even explain that. Malekith made a weapon out of that darkness, and it is called the Ether. Matter into dark matter. It seeks out host bodies, drawing strength from their life force. Does your book happen to mention how to get it out of me? No. I'm not, I'm not see. Oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, okay. Cool. You might want to take the stairs to the left. Oh, Loki, you just, you don't know what you've just done. You don't, you don't know. Wait, I'm not supposed to know. It's as if they resent being in prison! <laughs> Skirmish. Nothing to fear. You've never been a very good liar. Listen to me now. I need you to do everything I ask, and no questions. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love that they gave Aegis Elba more stuff to do in these movies, because he really is so essential to all of this. And he's a fantastic actor, too. Oh. Oh my gosh. still survive this. I have survived worse, woman. I am Malekith. And I would have what is mine. Oh! How are people so good to be able to do that? Like, do you know how far away she was? My, my brother in, in Game of Thrones. That, that would be me. Oh dear. Imagine, imagine that this is our world, and, uh, oh thank you, and this is another world. During the alignment, everything is connected, and gravity, light, and even matter is crashing from one world to the other. Can I have my shoe? <laughs> I intend to pursue Malekith. You possess the ether. Malekith will come to us. We will fight! The difference, my son, is that I will win. Well, we can see where Thor got it from. 
I mean, I'm all for, pe for keeping the peace, but in order to keep the peace, you have to be able to defend your honor. <laughs> Malika, you he who is here, he can sense its power. If we do nothing, he will come for it again, but this time lay waste to all of us. Mm -hmm. There are other paths off Asgard. Ways that are known to a few. One, actually. After all this time, now you come to visit me. No more illusions. And I offer you the chance in the far richer sacrament. When do we start? Mm. He will betray you. Yeah. Yeah, he will. I'm not even here. Is this better? Oh, this is much better. <laughs> the costume's a bit much. So tight. Chris Heaven Chris Evans did an imitation of Loki trying to do an imitation of Captain America. If that makes sense. Yeah. I'm Loki. You may have <laughs> That was for New York. Mm. Betray, and I'll kill you. If you even think about betraying him, you'll kill me. Evidently, there will be a line. Oh, yeah. Let's just. I think you missed a column. That was gonna say. Let's just, you know, destroy the whole castle. Out of the two of us, which one can actually fly? Well, if Loki changes into a Pegasus, he would be able to fly. Because he can do that. I didn't know if anybody knew that, but he can do that. Jane. I'm okay. The lie detector says that that was a lie. Oh dear. Loki, does this thing go faster? Trust me, brother. Would you? No. Nope. I wouldn't. <laughs> Bruh. Actually, I think that was part of the the plan, though. <gasps> Ooh. I am Loki of Jotunheim, and I bring you a gift. Or maybe it wasn't. I thought that there was a plan. There was like a different plan. Loki, now! Ooh, heck yes. Even though I know, even though I know, Loki, you don't understand. Loki is one of my favorite characters. Loki, throw some magic in it. That'll do. Oh, maybe that won't do. Oh. Ah, you fool! You didn't bless me. Editor, play the clip that I'm thinking of right now, because you know. I would tell Father what you did here today. I didn't do it for him. Oh! Poor London. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's not cause a whole lot of damage. This reflects badly on superheroes. <laughs> nice. You're right. You saved my life. Oh my gosh. This is why he will be king of Asgard. Because he's willing to risk, like, his own life for other people. Have you come to witness the end of your universe? I've come to accept your surrender. Ooh. Mm. <gasps> oh 
Oh, snap. <gasps> oh. Well. Everybody okay? That works. But I cannot be king of Asgard. I will protect Asgard and all the realms with my last and every breath, but I cannot do so from my chair. Yeah, I was going to say that was... Oh yeah. I present to you the collector. Asgardians. It's an honor. The Tesseract is already on Asgard. It is not wise to keep two infinity stones so close together. Tesseract I is on can Earth. Assure you, it will be absolutely safe here. Is that Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. End of Thor the Dark World. Ah, I still, I mean, like, it's not, is it my favorite? Not necessarily, but is it the worst out of all of Marvel? No, it's not. It's not. And I think it's kind of different for, you know, every individual person who is watching these movies. It, it all depends on your preference. Like, for me, I kind of enjoyed this because, I mean, like, it's more to Thor and Loki's story, and like I said, Loki is one of my absolute favorite characters. It kind of goes into the introduction of Infinity Stones. It shows the Reality Stone, which is the ether, which is crazy how they, like, they introduce that. They, they introduce it, they introduce the Reality Stone as an ether, and they don't even say that it is an infinity stone until at the very end where they're taking it to the collector. And of course, in Guardians, uh, there's a mention of the reality stone. Or is it? No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's in the first Guardians. There is another, there's another infinity stone that is introduced in Guardians. But, you know, we, we, so, so far we've been introduced to the, the blue stone, which is, I can't remember, I think it's, is it power? It's the space stone. Okay, so we've got the space, the space stone, which was introduced in Captain America. Now we're being introduced to the reality stone. And then and then we've got the purple stone coming up, the power stone coming up in Guardians, which is not the next movie, but um, it's right after. So the next one that we're going to be watching is Captain America Winter Soldier. We get to, we, we get to see a, a character come back in that one, and I'm super excited about that. Um, but... Uh, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are for this movie. Um, because, I mean, everybody has a different opinion. And I'm really interested to see what you guys think of this movie. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this movie. And if there's any other movies that you would like for me to like do one-offs for. Um, I did write down Alien just from me mentioning something earlier on. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.